need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Starting in Project 2013, there are many improvements to the reporting capabilities of Microsoft Project. You can create a report in Project 2013 by clicking the Report tab within the ribbon and then clicking on the type of report that you want to create within the View Reports and Export button groups. If you select a report type within the View Reports button group, you will then need to select the name of the report that you want to create from the drop-down menu that appears. There are many new preset reports that appear within Project 2013. In this lesson, we will display the names of the preset reports within Project 2013 and their use within a project file. Within the report category of Dashboard Reports, you have the Burndown Report, which shows the amount of work, tasks completed, and work remaining. There's also the Cost Overview Report, which shows the current cost status of your project. It displays planned costs, remaining costs, actual costs, cumulative costs, baseline costs, and percent complete. It's used to determine if the project will stay within its budget. The Project Overview is a report that shows how much of your project is complete. It also shows upcoming milestones and any late tasks. The Upcoming Tasks report shows the current week's work, the status of remaining tasks that were due, and the tasks that are scheduled to start in the next week. The Work Overview shows a work burndown for your project and the work stats for all top-level tasks so that you will know the percentage of completion and what work is remaining. Next, under the Resources Reports, you have Over Allocated Resources. This shows the work status for over allocated resources, including actual and remaining work. It's used to aid you in resolving resource over allocations. Also under Resources, you'll find the Resource Overview, which shows the work status of all work resources on the project. This report is used to determine the work completed and work remaining on a project. Under the Cost Reports category, you'll find the Cash Flow Report, which shows costs and cumulative costs per quarter for all top-level tasks. It can be modified to show various costs and alternate time periods. There's also the Cost Overruns Report, which shows cost variance for all top-level tasks and work resources. It's used to show where actual costs are exceeding baseline costs. You also have the Earned Value Report, which shows the earned value, variance, and performance indicators over time by comparing costs and schedules to a baseline. This report is used to determine if your project is on track when compared to a selected baseline. You also have the Resource Cost Overview Report, which shows the cost status of work resources and material resources. It shows the cost details in a table and cost distribution in a chart. You also have the Task Cost Overview Report, which shows the cost status of top-level tasks. It shows cost details in a table and cost distribution in a chart. Next, you have the Progress Reports. Under this category, you have Critical Tasks, which shows all tightly scheduled tasks that are listed as critical on your project's critical path. These are tasks that, if delayed, will cause the schedule to slip. You also have the Late Tasks Report. That shows all tasks that start or finish later than their scheduled start or finish dates. 
In the Milestone report, you will see the status of all milestone tasks within a project file. In the Slipping Tasks report, you'll see all tasks that are behind schedule with a finish date later than the finish date within a selected comparison baseline. Under the Custom reports, you have your selection of different types of reports that you can create. Note that you can also create a blank report by clicking the New Report button and then choosing Blank. You can create a report with just a basic chart by selecting Chart. By default, this will show a chart for your project showing actual work, remaining work, and work by default. You can create a custom table report by choosing the table choice from the new report dropdown. And this will show a table for your project data showing the name, start, finish, and percent complete. And you can customize the fields that are shown. Also, you can create a comparison report by choosing the comparison choice under the new report dropdown. This shows two charts side by side, showing the same project data. You then pick the fields you want to show in one chart side by side to compare them to another. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.